What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your HTS 56 5.1 channel home theater system. Let's get to it. So these are the six speakers that come in the kit. The main unit is actually this one right here. And this is what has a subwoofer on it, the 0.1 in the 5.1 system. And these are the speakers that you'll put all around your room for the complete surround sound. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to hook these speakers into the main unit to get them all powered. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn around the main unit so you can see the back. Now on the back of the main unit, we actually have our RCA outputs and our LED power outputs. So each of the five speakers have their own audio and LED RCA connectors. So whenever you are plugging in one of the speakers into the output, you need to make sure that you're plugging in both. So let's start with the center speaker right here. You know it's the center speaker because on the bottom, you'll see the four rubber feet and that's because you usually put it on your media center or you can hang it on the wall, but it's supposed to go horizontal. These are the connections. So the green one is what's going to power the LED portion because all of the speakers have LEDs on them. And the black one is what's actually going to give audio signal to the speaker. So let's plug in the black one first. So at the bottom where it says audio output, we're going to find center speaker. You'll see it right over here. I'm going to take the black RCA, plug it in. Adjacent to it, we have our LED power. I'm going to take our green connector and plug it in. I'm going to keep this going. So these two tall speakers are actually our front left and right speaker. So I'm going to start with this one. Facing the camera, that would be my front right speaker. So I'm going to take the black end and I'm going to find front right. So you see it says FR, that stands for front right. I'm going to plug that in here. Then I'm going to take the LED power, plug it in the same adjacent spot. Now I'm going to take the speaker's connector. So this is my front left. The black one is audio. And the green one is LED power. Now we have our rear right. So I have the connections here. And you can see there's ample amount of wire and that's because you're gonna run it through your wall or maybe you're gonna run it through a ceiling. And we wanted to give enough wire so that you have all of that slack. I'm finding rear right, which is this bottom one here. And I plug in the LED to the adjacent one. And finally, we have our last one, which is rear left. Now, before I turn this around, let me just go through some of the other inputs that we have on this device. So at the top, you'll notice the newest addition to this unit. It's the optical input, and that's for easy integration into a TV setup. So most smart TVs or even older TVs have an optical output. You can run an optical cable from your TV into this, and then you can feed everything that's coming through your TV into your sound system. We have our FM antenna port, which you can plug in the FM antenna to get a better radio signal. Below that, we have our RCA inputs. That's if you're using the RCA cable. Now, a lot of old TVs use RCA outputs to get signal, so you can use this to connect it to your HCS 56, or if you just want to plug in an old iPod, MP3 player, tape deck into your system, this is the cable you would use. And we also include an RCA to 3.5 connector, which you can just flip onto the end of this, and then you have a 3.5 to RCA cable. Now, right below our stereo RCA input, we have our 5.1 RCA inputs, and that's coming out of a Blu-ray or a DVD player that is actually summing out to 5.1. So if you want that true 5.1 Dolby Atmos sound, you're going to need to plug in those RCAs out of your Blu-ray or DVD player, specifically into these parts. And you can see it's all labeled so you know exactly where to plug in each wire. And then at the bottom, we have our power button right here. But let me turn this over and turn it on. So when I turn on the power switch on the back, you'll notice all the LEDs flicker for a second, but it's not going to be on until you press standby. Once you press standby, the actual unit is ready to receive musical signal. All right, let's go through the front of the unit now. So right over here, we have a jog wheel that if you turn left and right, will control volume. And if you push it in the center, it's going to allow you to change through the different input modes. So there's a couple different input modes. We have USB and SD, Bluetooth, RCA, and optical. Let me show you really quick how to connect through Bluetooth. So I click on this until I hear this. Once you hear that chime, you know that it is in Bluetooth pairing. I go to my phone, I open up the Bluetooth settings, and the Rockville HTS 56 will actually pop up. So I can click it to connect. You hear that chime and you know you're connected. Do a quick test to make sure everything's working.
Now what makes this 5.1 system really unique is that even when you're listening to stereo signal, it's going to play them through all five speakers. And you can actually switch that with this button over here. So there's a 5.1 slash 2.1 button. So with the 5.1 selected, it's going to play through all of these speakers. Now if you select 2.1, it's gonna only play through this speaker, this speaker, and the subwoofer. So if you ever notice that it's only coming out of two speakers, make sure that you have the 5.1 selected if you wanna hear it through all five speakers. Now, if you don't wanna use the jog wheel to control the volume or change the input, we also include a remote that allows you to have control over almost all the functionalities on this device. So you can control the master volume, you can control the level of the subwoofer, and you can control the level of each speaker individually. So I can put this speaker louder than this speaker, this speaker louder than this speaker. It just gives you a lot of control depending on the tuning of your room. So you can mess around with that to find the perfect balance. Another really cool feature is there's an LED button on the remote which allows you to change the color of the center unit. So I can click it and it'll start to change through different LED options. Now if you look closely at the bottom of the remote, you'll actually notice two interesting features. There's a mic volume up and down and an echo up and down. And that's because this unit has two quarter inch microphone inputs. So I have a microphone here with a quarter inch cable. I can plug it right into the front over here, turn it on, and you can hear me come through, and I can actually control the level of echo from the remote itself. But let's go to our home theater room because I want to show you something else. All right, guys, we're in our home theater room right now, and we actually have the HCS 56 set up all around the room. So you can see we have our rear speakers on these walls over here. We got our front speakers right here, our center speaker over there. Now, you might be wondering how they're mounted, but we actually include 10 of these mounts with the kit and they actually screw into the back of the speakers with the pre-drilled screw holes you just screw them in with a little phillips screwdriver and i just wanted to point one thing out that if you're trying to mount them horizontally you have to put two of these mounts onto one speaker and that's just so that when you go to mount them onto the wall it can hang horizontally and not fall down if you're mounting them vertically you only have to put one of these onto the back of them but we have this set up all around the room. And one thing I want to show you is how to integrate it into your TV setup. So I have a smart TV here and what I have is an optical cable. So I have one end of the optical cable already plugged into the optical output on my TV. I'm going to take this end and plug it right into the optical port on the HCS 56. So you'll see it over here. I take it and I plug it in. See, I'm getting volume. I'm gonna go down a little bit. Now this is a smart TV, so I've actually gone ahead and pulled up a karaoke version of a song on YouTube. And what I wanna show you is that you can take your microphone now with the quarter inch cable, plug it right into the front over there, turn it on, and you can actually sing through this while you have your karaoke on the screen over there. You can go up in volume and I can actually karaoke straight from my living room to 5.1 sound. So hopefully this showed just how easy it is to integrate the HDS 56 into your home theater setup. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact us through email or phone. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.